to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the a very scr good, yeah. Screen Junkies slash Screen Rant Honest trailer for Money Plane. Featuring Pitch Meeting. So, yeah, that's the word slash Screen Rant. Yeah, part comes in. we definitely wanted to grab this one because since we do, we normally do both lots of times, and this one is always a big shocker that's like, okay, they're both doing this one. Money okay, Plane is such a unique straight to DVD movie kind of movie that. It's not even funny. He saw it recently. It is hilarious. Yeah. Really not good, but I've seen it. I saw it a long time. It was a while back. He just actually just recently saw it. It's not good. It's one of those you guys sit down with friends and have a good laugh. With have them. a good laugh. It's one of those like those those like you know like drinking type of ones where it's like whatever you know. Uh, yeah, it's one of those kind of films. And when you see our reaction to this, if you're just watching our reaction, our this on shared through us, you're gonna see why because it's definitely a very unique kind of film. Yeah, so let's dive into this again for the the team up of a lifetime. I don't know for us <laughs> for Screen Junkies and Screen Rants uh, presents Honest Trailers Money Plane featuring Pitch Meeting. So here we go. Money Plane, Money Plane, Money Plane, Money Plane, Money Plane. Da, 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 da. Money Plane. Yeah. Two separate Denise Richards horse movies. Really? A high octane, low budget action caper that finally answers what if Tommy was so oh, loved Michael Bay movies instead of erotic dramas? I'm <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> I love it. Take to the skies aboard the Money Plane, a flying casino where you can gamble on anything death or animal related. Man versus Cobra. If you want to bet I'm a dude, f an alligator. That's a lie in this show. You can place bets on those things from anywhere, but only on the Money Plane can you do it next to weird perverts. Rules were meant to be f then get served a bunch of airplane food. Then get shot in the head for cheating. In this feature-length mystery of whether the people who made this thing are actually serious. <laughs> it's a film so alternatingly silly and boring, it's hard to know what's commentary on the limits of low-budget filmmaking and what naturally happens when the dude from Blossom is the most experienced guy on set. Stop. Stop looking. He is. You think about it. This isn't Cats. You aren't Judy Dench. <laughs> High-flying wrestler Edge stars as Jack Reed who gets to show off his gravity-defying moves never as they cram his massive bug-eyed ass into a tiny <laughs> cockpit for the entire movie. Back up the money. You cover your tracks. Yeah, he's in the plane and cockpit the, the entire movie. movie. He talks about his hijacking plans in front of the other passengers. In control of the cockpit. Discovers mid-heist that airplanes have co-pilots. Fucking piss me off! And always has the look of a guy who's trying and failing to think of a comeback. How about I just blow your brains out and create my own damn Oh, that's where you have the canvas. Oh, I forgot. That's what. Don't look. give me my money, Jack. The look. Like he's trying to come back. Come up with a uh, comeback, baby. I love the mood, the music. Because it's like you're waiting for that the look to get. taking down the money play by fear gangster Darius Emmanuel Grouch III, a.k.a. The Rumble. Played by Kelsey Grammer in a turn so maniacal, he's still crapping out little bits of scenery to this day. I don't give a f who's on that plane. I'm the fattest mother f on the planet. Not since Tim Curry in <laughs> Command and Conquer Riddler 3 has a character actor achieved such majestic heights over the course of maybe two hours of filming. Yeah. Your families are all dead. You, your crew, and everyone you ever met. Get it by the time you touch down. I'm escaping. It was great. I enjoyed it. Jack will be a crack team, including Isabella, <laughs> an elite operative so intimidating, her opponents stand around in awe, allowing themselves to be slowly murdered. Yeah. 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 Yeah, see, that part was so weird. Ray, who's there for no discernible reason, the third Lawrence brother, because the only way Andrew can get a bigger part than Matthew and Joey is by directing the movie himself yeah. and several of the most unnecessary lower thirds in movie history. Probably not great that I can't tell this by looking at the set. You can't even disclose it to us? The audience? Yes. This is where we've been the whole time. There are only two rooms on this plane separated by a shower. <laughs> I heard that. I 
Yes, that is that. So plug down three ninety nine, or wait until it pops up on Crackle for the or most forward heist in film history, where the high tech vaults can be opened by taking out a single man. The entire system is compromised by an idiot on the ground, and escaping is as simple as strapping on a parachute, but not actually skydiving because they blew their money on cinema's weakest wind machine. In a film so dumb and so <laughs> lazy, you have to wonder what the pitch meeting was like. There he is. So, you have a movie <laughs> for me? Yes, sir. I, I do. Money plane. Oh, so it's a movie about a plane filled with money, or is the plane made of money? It's a money plane, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> yes! Disgusting, but okay. See, the whole thing is that rich criminals ride on this thing so they can gamble. Why can't the criminals just gamble on the ground? Well, they could, but see, they want to do, like, illegal gambling about murder and stuff, so they got to take to the sky. Oh, uh, airborne criminals. Criminals are tight. Yeah, they are. So this money plane has a whole bunch of rules that they have to follow. Criminals do love following rules. They sure do, sir. Also, crime just kind of feels better when it's over international waters. Well, yeah, everybody knows that. So anyway, <laughs> the evil gangster named Darius Emmanuel Grouch the Third. he decides he wants to rob the money plane. No further questions about that guy's name. Well, I have further information on it, sir. He goes by the Rumble. He tells people to call him the Rumble. He self-identifies as a Rumble. So who are we thinking here, Sam? Jackson, Bing Reigns. I was thinking Kelsey Grammer. Oh, Frazier. The salad. Frazier. Himself. Kelsey can't wait to phone it in. He's not going to try very hard. No, he'll take it to an 11. He'll just do most of his scenes via FaceTime video call. Saves us more money for the money plane. Exactly. <laughs> so the Rumble forces this thief named Jack, who's in debt to him, to rob the money plane of all the cash and cryptocurrency on board. I thought the whole point of crypto was that it has no physical location. Well, this one does. It's on the money plane. Fair yeah. enough. And the only man good enough to take down the money plane is this guy Jack. So the plan goes smoothly. No, it's a complete disaster and he's totally incompetent and nobody really knows what they're doing <laughs> about it. So this movie's about a heist plan that goes wrong. A bit. A bit? Yeah, just a little bit of the movie's about this heist. Well, it's gonna be hard to make a heist movie where we don't spend time on the heist. Actually, it's gonna be super it's easy. Very easy. Very inconvenient. Oh, really? Yeah, we're just gonna kinda hang out on the money plane. Not heisting, <laughs> just kinda vibing. Just straight vibing. Yeah, for yeah. pretty much the entire second act. Now that kind this seems like a long time. Well, this is when we get to see all the crazy bets happening over international waters on the money plane. Okay, gotcha. So we're gonna have some fun with the crazy bets. A lot of fun. Because it's the money plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why the criminals yeah. have gotten on the money plane instead of going to Vegas where there are nice hotels and restaurants and concerts and stuff. Yeah, they go on the money plane instead of to the city that's all about gambling. It definitely has weird underground places for this kind of stuff. So what are some of these bets anyway? Oh, well, there's one where a guy gets his arm cut off. Okay, so what? Wait. What's the bet? Is a Thank you. Another guy. What was the fucking? How's? How do you bet on that? What was the fucking shit? Sex with an alligator. What? What aspect of that are they betting on? Oh, unclear, but it's worth talking about in this movie for sure. Well, let me ask you something. How'd you get into my office? Money plane. Money plane. So, <laughs> I'm thieving on a bed plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. Hello, Seattle. I'm threatening. P.I. Jane. The Real Housewives of Money Play. Two scenes. There were three scenes in the movie. Air Dud. Ivan the Terrible. Actor. And <laughs> the Brothers Dim. Stakes on a plane. Stakes <laughs> of... Texas Hold'em is about to begin on the main casino floor. Poker? Oh, thank goodness we're over international waters. So we can play this exotic and illegal game that's regularly televised on GSN. God damn! Thanks for making me feel alive. Thank you for joining the Pitch Meeting Guy. <laughs> if you like what you saw, check out Screen Rant for more. It's super easy, barely an inconvenience. Yes. And then he did a backflip, snapped the bad guy's neck, and saved the day. Being honest about movies is it's tight. Hot. I get my epic voice from my mother. Uh, seriously. It literally, everything you brought up was all brought up I brought, here. I brought up before, like, the dude chops his arm off. What was the bet? What was the fucking bet? He just chops an arm off and that's it. Okay, there was a couple parts I didn't notice. Like, I didn't realize, yeah, this entire movie Edge is just on in the cockpit. Like, mass majority of this heist, he's in the and cockpit. And the look that he's giving And it's the location. The, yeah. It's like, what are you <laughs> The look he gives every time where Edge always gives that look as if he's gonna, he's gonna, he's thinking of a comeback to say, but it's just like, 
Nope. He's just, this is the long... Hey, uh, even when Kelsey Grammer hams it up, it's still very enjoyable. I mean, Jesus Christ, he was probably the biggest highlight of the entire film. I mean, it's not... Like I said, it's one of those movies you gotta really see for yourself. Sit down, watch with some friends, drink some stuff, because it's gonna be absurdly bad. Yeah. It's just... <sighs> She's on, Dennis Richards is on the cover of the fucking thing, and she's only in like three unimportant scenes. Three unimportant scenes. One scene where she's telling him that you should go to bed, one where she's in bed, and then the ending of the film. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. You know. That is it. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm just, oh my God, just watch the movie for yourself, folks. You'll see what we're talking it's about. On, it's on Hulu. Watch it then. Yes. Other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about honest trailers, and pitch memes, hit the subscribe button down below, hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are on uh, this Honest Trailers featuring pitch memeing. Did you have fun with it? Did you watch the movie and thought exactly the same exact things that they brought up or even what he said? Everything they brought up as well, but uh, you know, what you guys think of the film? Or what you guys think of Honest Trailers and uh, pitch memeing's uh, depiction towards it? Uh, put down what you thought of our reaction overall to this uh, very interesting honest trailer but most importantly we thank you for watching so until next time i'm kristen and i'm christopher and this has been yet another honest trailers slash pitch me filled episode no, that's actually been the first one yeah. where they combined of srb see ya later hey guys thanks for watching if you want to check out any of our previous reactions as well as one of our other srb shows check out one of the playlists down below and if you want to check us out in the social universe you can find us on twitter and start us at super react bros as well as on facebook at super reaction bros